This is the quilted cushion panel. And I think this is my favourite in this issue of the Fabazine because it's beautiful just as it is. It's got that kind of Victorian ceramic tile feel to it. But this is brilliant for all levels of quilters. So all you need to add to it is you need to add a couple of pieces of uh, batting, one for the back, and if uh, sorry, one for the front, and then if you want to do it, uh, the quilting design on the back as well, you absolutely can do that. So first step is to cut out the panel itself and cut out a piece of batting or wadding um, a little bit larger all the way around. I'm not too concerned about having this the right size at the minute because when you do stitch, sometimes things can move a little bit and it's always helpful to have that little bit of extra wiggle room around the edges. So you've got lots of options with this. You can just stitch up and down just the tiles themselves if maybe you're a beginner or quilting isn't your thing. If you really want to go to town on your free motion, you've got loads of lovely big areas here to get some real fancy work going, even if it's just following the contours of all these kind of lovely petal shapes that are on there. So you've also got all of these individual tiles, which you can do some work on as well. Um, I'm going to take keep this one fairly basic, so I'm going to do um, just kind of almost a stitch in the ditch with the fantasy ditch um, along here and just kind of separate those off into their square tiles and then I'm going to add a little bit of embellishment onto here so I'll take that over to the sewing machine in a second but before I do so I just wanted to talk to you about these backing pieces as well so these backing pieces are designed to line up exactly with the front piece so the tiles that are on the back let me just pop that other one in place should match up absolutely perfectly with the ones on the front to create the whole pattern again and on your board you will find uh, two buttons now the buttons are the exact shape of these flowers so although it's been designed with an envelope back what you are also going to need to do to get the most out of this design or to take it up a step from just an envelope cushion is to actually add a buttonhole here and here and then sew the buttons onto here and here. 